I am a sovereign prince of Egypt, a son of a proud history that's shown, etched on every wall. This is all I've ever wanted. Welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast! And we're here with your boy. Welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast. And this is the second episode in the Make Me a Millionaire Marathon. That's right. Um, 13 million listeners per podcast episode. 13 million listeners per podcast episode. That's what your crazy ass boy is going after today. The mentality I got right now, honestly, is... So, if you weren't listening to the last episode that I did... The mentality that I got right now, man, is I'm I'm tired of getting behind this microphone, getting on this microphone, and knowing that there ain't the people, there ain't the amount of people listening to this podcast that should be listening. So, with that being said, I'm I'm doing I'm recording literally live three hours of audio until I get to that point where I know I see the amount of people that should be listening to this podcast that I that I did I demand should be listening to this podcast and. I sound kind of crazy right now. I know, I know, and I know if you support me, I apologize if I sound so rambunctious, but I'm at the point now to where I'm, I'm done. I'm like, like I said in the last episode, and you might not have been listening to the last episode, so this might be your first time hearing me, you know, but hear me out. I do 13 podcasts a week. I do 13 podcasts a week. I try to do at least 10 YouTube videos a week. You know, only time I don't do YouTube videos is because I'm busy doing something else. Like, I'm at the point now, man, to where I'm tired of playing with this. You know, I'm tired of people not acknowledging how... I'm tired of people not acknowledging how much work I really put in for this. You know, I take this podcasting game serious as hell. I take it very, very seriously. It's not a game with me. It's not a... It's not a game with me. It's it's not a game with me. It's not a game. This ain't a toy. I ain't nobody's like. This is not studying and listening to the people's bear. It's not a game with me. And so I'm at the point right now where I'm podcasting live until I get at least 13 million people on here to listen to me, or at least until I run out of hours. One of the two. Because literally, while I'm talking to you right now, I'm marketing on the podcast right now, and. You know, I had a, it was, I had like a kind of like a little bit of a, of a, um, because I, have, I had like almost like a little bit of a breakdown yesterday because I was like, man, I was like, I'm out here working as hard as I can. Like, I had a breakdown because really it was, it's, when I said yesterday, I meant right now, but I had a little bit of a breakdown because it's like, man, I'm out here pushing as hard as I can to get people to listen to this podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and I'm I'm tired of being denied. Like I'm I'm at the point now to where I wanna I, I'm just like when I ended the episode, the last one that I did, and you can go see for yourself right now. The number that I had on the podcast was four listens and sixteen comments. Now, sixteen of those comments was my own. You feel me? You feel me? I was. I was, I was, I was at the point, man, I, I just, I got so bored, man, I'm about the comment in the comment in the chat room right now, um, um, I was at the point, man, where I just was getting tired of people, um, I was just getting tired of, I was getting tired of people not listening to me, I was getting tired, um, um, of people not listening, I was getting tired of people not tuning into the podcast, and, and I was like, man, you know what? I'm I'm at the point now, man, to where I'm ready to fight. You know, I'm I'm ready to fight for what I for what I want. I'm tired of being ignored, and I'm at the point now to where it's like I'm at the point now to where it's like fight or flight. That's how honestly that's honestly how I feel right now. 
because to keep to keep it 100 to keep it 100 man I work way too hard and I am way too talented to be ignored on this level like when I envision myself I always envision myself almost like a new age a new age Demosthenes and you know Demosthenes and if you're not familiar with my boy the Demosthenes he was he was this very this very famous orator who spoke in ancient Rome and ancient Greek something like that one of them ancient eras one of them ancient eras ancient eras I for I forgot when but all I know, all I know is, he spoke in one of those ancient. All I know is, he spoke in one of those ancient eras, and he ended up becoming one of the most famous orators of all time. And the reason I equate myself to him right now is because I'm at the point now that, like I said, like I'm, I'm just tired, man. I'm tired, and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not. I guess I just keep thinking about it, and. I, you know, and you know, this is, this episode for you, this, this, how can I put this in a nice way without being rude? This ain't one of those things where like, this episode might not be the friendliest episode because I'm tweeting, I'm literally, I'm literally, while I'm talking to you right now, I'm literally tweeting, messaging, and trying to get people to come into this podcast, like, um, um, I'm I'm like at the point now where I'm like, man, I gotta get people on here. I can't, I can't keep de- dealing with defeat. I can't keep accepting defeat. Like, I can't keep recording, recording live again. I can't keep accepting defeat. I can't keep accepting defeat, and and I'm at the point now to it's like. Man, like I'm tired of that. Like you, you, you gotta understand. Like I, I keep saying this over and over again, and I know I might sound a little bit, you know, eccentric. I know I might like, sound a little bit crazy, but you know, this is JT. I'm JT. This is me, who I am. You know, I'm. I've never stopped being this way. I've always been the same way. That, that, that proud, that proud, humble, proud, humble man who's totally throwing himself in the fire to go after what he wants to go go after. I've always been that. I've always been that person. You know, God gave me a life. God gave, put me in a position. Kind of, this is odd. You know, and you might it might be like this for you, man. But it, for me, man, is my life's always been to where I had to work harder than the next person to get to where I wanted to get to. It's always been like that, and it's always been a scenario where I shouldn't have had to work as hard as I as I've had to. I've always had to been the guy who was pushing and shoveling and trying to get as hard as I can out there and nobody would hear me nobody would feel me nobody would connect with my music and I'm like bro like I'm out here I'm pushing I'm pushing I'm pushing I'm pushing and I've suffered defeat in so many different battles I've suffered defeat in in so many battles in so many places and I'm at the point now to where it's like I said I'm 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 not I'm not stepping down from this one. I'm not stepping down from this one. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not stopping. I'm not um I'm not quitting. I'm I'm going I'm going all out. I'm going all out. 40 47 50 50 51 In my country we got a thing where if we like wild and hella wild we say 51 50. Um and so that's why I feel like right now, man, I'm doing, I'm going all out three hours. The only reason I'm only doing three hours is because I'm at the mental stage. I'm at the mental stage now to where it's like, well, I'm, I'm at the financial stage. <sighs> I'm at the financial stage right now to where I can only do three hours. I might have to renew this and make it to where I do five hours, but right now I can only do three. So I, I, I ain't stopping, man. We're going to keep going. Tô gravando esse podcast, tô gravando de novo, tô gravando, tô gravando, tô gravando live, de novo, de novo, de novo, tô gravando de novo.
Like I'm never, I've never, you know, you know, you know, you know I've always, I've always been humble. I've been humble. I've been nice. I've, I've been very, very patient with people. I've been a very nice. I was a. Oh man, my voice is starting to hurt. Ah, 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 my voice is starting to hurt, man. I'm, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get, starting to beat myself down from this. But you gotta get going. Who the heck is Christy Bartholo? Mm, version of Violence in this podcast. I don't know, but like I said, um, what's going on in your life? What's going on with you? And see, that's the thing. Like, even when I talk to you on this podcast, whoever I'm talking to, well, I can be the point that can kind of be even to make you feel more insecure sometimes because it's like, it's like you want to relax and you want to be cool and you want to be, you want to feel cool and you want to feel like you're talking to people who care. But at the same time, it's like, it's like if, if, if no one's tuning in and no one's listening then does it even really matter sometimes you know like I said like I said in the last podcast if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one here to hear it and there's no one there to hear it then did it fall did it make a sound if there's no one here to hear it and that's how I feel all the time. That's exactly how I feel most of feel most of the time. Like like I'm a tall ass tree in the forest and no one no one is listening to me. No one is listening to me fall. But it is what it is. This is part of the process, I imagine. This is the part of the process of, of being a successful person that I that they don't like to tell you about. Is the part where you got to fight hard. You know, I actually remember reading that. Um, uh, um, I remember actually reading that for like when Howard Stern did radio that for like three hours that he would he would just sit and take calls for like three hours. He would sit and take calls for like three hours on his radio station, trying to get people to listen, and then he would do the radio show. And I can understand that. That's actually a smart idea, you know. In fact, I would do that with this podcast, you know. But at the same time, it was like, hell, you. It's always something against you. Always something fighting you back. But it's cool, and I ain't stopping yet. We're gonna keep it going. Thirteen million listeners, man. Thirteen million listeners. I'm going to get thirteen million listeners. You know, I want you to, I want you to feel, and I know this is, like I said, like, I, I want, I know this is bad, I know this is, it's very unprofessional, we man, to get behind this microphone, man, and be telling you, like, what's going on in my world and everything like that, but I gotta connect with you, I gotta tell you what's going on with me, I have to, I have to be as honest with you as I can, because that's what makes me me, you know, that's what makes me JT, JT is gonna get behind the microphone, and he's gonna get emotional, and that's, that's how I've always been. I'm a goofy ass person. I'm hella goofy. I'm hella fun to be around. I'm all of those things, man. But one thing I don't like being is being somebody who's ignored. And I, like I said, I just, I gotta keep going, man. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. You know, that's just how I look at life right now. I gotta keep going. And I'm not stopping until it's over with. You know, I'm, I'm looking myself, I look at myself as, I've always equated myself as being great and talented and above the world and all these different things, but I can't be that if I don't have the support of other people. So that's why I'm like, man, I'm letting everybody know right now that I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not giving up. You know, a matter of fact, I'm going to play you a video clip. And this video clip is one of the things that made me kind of go as hard as I can right now. And this is your, if this is your first time listening to me, trust me. I'm not generally like this, you know, I'm not, um, excuse me, I'm not generally like this, I'm very, I'm generally a very nice person, but I'm not, I'm just, I'm not giving up, and this is something that I always listen to that makes me keep going hard. It will create spark. 
space for you. It will create positions for you. It will create opportunities for you. It will create yep. favor for you. David yep. didn't know anything about power. Yep. He just got yep. it because he was good yep. rag and a rock. Yep. Real stuff. But look how far he, far he got with the rag and a rock. To another level. Now, I had them prepared when you were going through your trouble and your trials and your tests and your temptation. I already had a blessing set up for you, and I'm waiting for you to grow up enough so that you can stand in the full vesture of what I have for you. Touch somebody and tell them get ready. God, it does how I feel about myself sometimes, man. Like late at night when I'm sitting at home eating a box of graham crackers and peanut butter. I'm always thinking to myself, man, like, I know I'm great enough to get myself out there. I know, the, I know I'm great enough to where people should care about me and who I am. I know I'm great enough for that. Why aren't people receiving me? And, you know, the only way, I guess that's, see, the problem with me, the, another issue that comes with me sometimes is, I was one of those type of kids that growing up, the household that I grew up in, the only way I knew how to handle things was just hard work. Which is work hard was to keep pushing and keep going hard at what I was doing. That's the only thing I know how to do. All I know how to, the only way I know how to beat you with is with sweat and tears. That's the only way I know how to do this. That's the only way I was, I was raised to do anything was, was to fight you, to fight you, fight you in the way I know the best way out to is fight you with my, um, fight you with my strength, fight you with my hard work. You know what I mean? And I've been using that I've been using that method my whole life and I'll be lying to you if I I'll be lying to you I'll be lying to you if I told you that it's been working all the time because it hasn't. You know, I'm I fight harder than everybody. I fight harder than anybody in the world, really in my opinion. And I think I think that's one thing to do on podcasts is kind of has kind of done for me is is giving me a strong backbone. If that makes sense, it's giving me a strong backbone. It's made me into a person who it's made me into a person where to the type of person to where I'm not scared to fight about what I want to fight about. You know, and that goes for anything, bro. Like I'm not scared to I'm not scared to get out there and fight for what I want to fight for. I ain't scared to get out there and lose and take some L's and get out there and fight hard and get out there and and be that guy, be that weird guy who's like, man, you know what, bro, I'm out here fighting and I don't care. Hey, you know what, I'm out here fighting, I don't care. That's just my mentality at this point. And it's probably to my detriment. I'm not going to lie to you because it makes me hop out the window sometimes. It makes me hop out the window and kind of be like, um, it kind of make, it kind of makes me hop out the window and be like, you know, hey, man, you know, slow down. But I'm, but man, I'm a, Ah, uh, I don't know. The struggle can make you corny, man. Uh, the People's Paradise Podcast. People's Paradise Podcast. The struggle can make you. The struggle can make you hard, man. It can make you grow, and that's because I always had dreams. One of the things that, that drives me more than anything else is the dreams of the People's Paradise. The People's Paradise. One of the things that drives me harder than anything else. Is knowing is knowing that my family is watching me fail. Record is live. Tune in to tune in to tune in to listen. Comment, share your space. Going your science. You know, that's that's one thing that kind of makes me out same is that it drives me because my family's watching me fail. You know, my sister's got a brother that ain't proud of. My mother got a son she ain't proud of. And one of the things that's 
this just this this push me as hard as I can right now just because I like I don't see myself at the point where where I wanna be at. You know, I you know, I, I get behind this microphone every day and I'm like and I'm fighting, I'm pushing and I'm, I'm typing all the way. I'm out here marketing hard as I can and it's like you still can't even get one listen. Like even right now, see I'm looking at the podcast right now and it's like not even one nigga's tuning into the podcast and I'm like, bro, like I can't keep having that, man. Like I can't I can't keep doing that. That just is that's just is it's just irritating, man. It's it's frustrating, it's irritating, it's demeaning. It's demeaning to get behind here and know that ain't nobody fucking with my shit like that, bro. Like um it pisses me off and I don't I don't want that. Like I want it to be big, like I'm tired of that. And then I only get four or five listen, like I I can't keep doing that, man. Like I want this to be big. Like when I do this podcast, um when I do this podcast, I want it to be great, man. I want it to be like I want it to be something like where I have Disney. I'm doing ads for Disney, or I have I have Disney on here. I have Hershey's chocolate trying to uh, have ads on here, like, and I feel like it's kind of like, like I don't know, like I I, I just, you know how it is, you know how it is exactly, you know how it is, like I. You know how I can get, man. You know, you get out here um, and you be grinding and it's like I you go through those phases where you're like, man, this is this is it. And I'm like, bro, like I'm grinding. I'm pushing hard as I can. And I'm, I'm you know, right now I'm actually going through all the people right now that I've actually um, emailed, emailed to try to get interviewed. Like I went through so many different people, man, that I tried to get on this podcast. It was crazy. I'm talking about heck of people. I'm talking about. I got for, I forgot I emailed all these people, man. I forgot about all of that. I had I had emailed so many, like it's just crazy. Like I I forgot about all of that, man. I I'm talking about reporters, entertainers, writers, dictionary people, internet people, people from around the world. I'm talking about everybody, and they all denied me. They all denied me, and. They all deny me. You know, I imagine, I imagine I probably look pretty crazy to them right now. And I guess that can be why they did. But, man, I'm just all, I'm always going to be somebody who chases my dream. And I'm always going to be that guy. And I, I can't keep lying down for the fact that I can't keep lying down and, and thinking, oh, hey, it's going to get better tomorrow. I can't keep doing that, man. I, at the end of the day, man, I'm a hog. I'm a, I'm a beast. I'm an animal. I can't keep being satisfied with just, being seen as average like I don't want that anymore I don't I don't want that anymore I don't want to be get behind here and not have 13 million people listen to this podcast I deserve to have at least 13 million people listen to this podcast and I'm past that point I'm past that point where I feel like I should have to keep keep lowering myself to the standard of just you know how it is you know how it is I don't know if you've ever had something though that you had to fight for and be ignored all the time, and until 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 thirteen million until thirteen million listeners. Yes. Mhm. I'm just gonna be honest. Hello. Every single one of them, every single person I tag, every single person I tag in this email has rejected my offer to interview them. What can I? Connect with them. I mean, you know what? I sound crazy as hell, but you know what I'm doing? Let me see some point. Let me see some point. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I don't care, B. I don't care, B. I don't 
don't care because this is God. This is Come. Um, yeah, I'm right now I'm typing right now. It's like the message I'm typing right now was, "Hello, every single person I tag in this email has a normal offer to interview them or connect with them at some point, at some point." But I don't, but I don't care because this is God. This is God driven, and my time's gotta come. So I'm just got my time's gotta come. It's come. I'm recording the People's Paradise. Recording the People's. I'm recording the People's Paradise Podcast live right now. I'm recording the People's Paradise Podcast live right now. And podcast live right now. I know I would love for you to uh, yeah. Friends. You know, so I don't care, man. I'm at the point now where it's like, man, like, gotta keep growing. Sit up, man. I mean. I'm at the point now to where it's like what happened you know even right now I'm talking to nobody right now but it's at the point now to where it's like and I'm like I said I don't care man gotta keep going Gotta retreat, you gotta take that one out. Okay. Did I put that as a valid email address? <laughs> That's it. Until 13 million listeners. Mm hmm. Until 13 million listeners. Until 13 million listeners. That's what I'm doing, man. Until 13. Until 13 million listeners, listeners per episode. I record 13 podcast episodes and Hmm. So, man, I'm at the point now, like I said, I just gotta, it's the game, I just gotta keep going. I'm going until I get 13 million listeners per podcast episode. So yeah, I'm a I'm a thug, man. I'm always, like I said, I'm always I'm always gonna be out here. I'm with my thugs, my thuggish. to go to hmm. so I sent the email right now and it's like gave me like a big long list of people who didn't fail oh failed five who are the five to show I know yeah, that was a bad one
Shanshan Devali, Ling Stock, James Perez, Joshua Markinchin. You and Mina West Poetry, which I don't know. So I don't. Like I said, man, it's just I'm ghetto Gehenna. Ghetto Gehenna, man. I've always been that man, a ghetto good hitter. Always fighting for what I believe in. Always fighting. Always fighting. Always pushing, man. Always telling people I'm the best. Always, always, man, hopping out the window on some on some renegade type type. I'm going after my own type of stuff, man. That's all I've done. These, and I know these. I'm I, I'm sorry that these last three episodes have had to be focused on just um on just on just um. On just the struggle aspect of my life, but you know I gotta be real with you, man. You know I can't I can't get on this podcast and lie to you and act like I'm out here balling when I'm not. You know, yo, this game is hard. This game is hard, man. You know, every single day, man, I'm out there at it. Every every single day, I'm out there at it. Every single day, I'm out there grinding. I'm out there pushing. I'm out there. Doing exactly what I feel like the Lord has put me on this earth to do, and it hurts my heart when I get out here and nobody tunes in to your boy. But at the same time, man, I just like I said, I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping, I'm not pushing, I'm not, I'm not done, I'm not done, and I'm not, I'm never giving up. As a matter of fact, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's keep going. Let me. There's one. It will be my dream of my world. The dream I've always had about this podcast is to get on the people is to get it produced by the pop by the um by the travel channel. It's always I've always wanted to get it done by the travel channel. And in fact I have a video um a long time ago there was a video I had put out there for the travel channel called the um it was like this video I had did really, really long time ago and I'm and it was a hard one too. I was um JT is the next travel channel star. That was what I did. JT is the next travel channel star. That was the one I put, and I and I kept, I kept. <sighs> I've marketed that video so many times in the last day. I marketed this podcast so many times in the last day. You know, the only even though I'm ignored, even though even right now when I'm talking to you right now, I'll be honest with you. It's probably nobody listening to this podcast right now, even while I'm talking to you. But I guess the thing about it that makes it cool right now is just knowing that I have taken the time to put all that I could in being what I dreamed to be. You know, I have put all the support possible, all the strength that I could possible to being what I wanted to be, to being to being the king to being the prince that I want to be, to being the god that I want to be, to being, to standing tall and fighting firm. You know, I've, I've all, I, I've fought as hard as I could, and I, and I don't, and I don't have shame, and I don't have shame in saying that I've begged and I've, that I've, you know, it's, it's hard, man, because you know, you get out here, man, it's hard. Like, it ain't no game, it ain't no game, but I, I'm. I take pride in knowing that I've put all my blood, sweat, and tears in going after what I want to go after. And I have no shame in saying that. You know, it's always, it's been a long drive, but I'm not giving up. You know, I'm, I'm not giving up, not stopping, not sitting down. You know, I sat down my whole life and let people just step over me, and I'm, I'm done with that. You know, it's funny. It used to be a time when, and it, the, the, the interesting thing was, there used to be a time where I actually would just let, I actually would just let people just, I actually would just let people just walk over me and tell me I wasn't this and tell me I couldn't be that. Because I used to believe that, but now I'm at a point now where I'm like, man, like. I'm so much more than that. Like I'm JT. Like I'm. Like I don't care. And if you hear that noise, that's the rejection of all my emails that I sent out to different people. And and I've lost a lot of friends on this way. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I lost to. It's a lot of people I don't talk to anymore. It's a lot of people I don't talk to anymore. 
It's a lot of people I don't talk to anymore. I lost a lot of... God dang, did one email go through? Shit. Excuse my language, but god damn. Like, hell, give it... Like... I'm just like, like, come on, dang, hey. Kel, give me some... Give me some rhythm, baby. Baby, give, baby, give me some rhythm. God dang, like... I know my voice is going to be hoarse and hoarse as hell. My voice is going to be so hoarse after all this is done. But I got to keep going, man. I don't, I don't, I've, I've never, I've never known any other way to go other than to keep going. I've, I've never, I've never known any other way that anything I've done in my life other than to just keep grinding and keep going as hard as I can. God dang it. Now shit. You know, like I'm just, I'm, 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 you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a Twitter scheduler. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a Twitter scheduler app. I'm going to get a tweet scheduler app. And I'm going to schedule it to, um, I don't know. I've always, hmm, another feeling. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of just settling for, like, second best. Like, I'm not, I'm not a second best type dude. I, I can't do that. Like, I can't set up, set up a second best or even third best. I remember, when, I think it was Drake who said, second best is first to lose. And that was a, that was the deepest thing I ever heard anybody ever say in my life. He said, he said, second best is only being second to lose. Like, that was just deep to me, man. I was so ill. Like, second best is only just second to lose. And that's how I feel about life right now. Like, I feel like if I keep just, the problem is I keep saying is like, if I keep just settling for second best, if I keep just settling for, for, um, if I keep just settling for second best, if I just keep settling for four or five listens a day, then, I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to get anywhere. And I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I want to do great. I want to be amazing. I want to be, I want to fulfill my talent to its highest potential. You know, and I'm not, and I ain't that, and you know, I work hard at what I do. You know, I work hard and I, I really apologize that I've I've made you listen to me rant about how hard I'm working for like the last three hours. <laughs> I, I actually I actually am um I actually am sincerely apologetic about that. It's just it's like I said, man. It's like I you you man. It's like you don't. It's like how you run out of ways. You run out of ways to tell the world that you're the best. You run out of ways. You run out of ways to. You run out of ways to run out. Of, you run out of ways to. You run out of ways to keep telling the world the best without coming off as an idiot. You run out of ways to just keep going as hard as you can. And I'm at the point. I like I said I. At least one, one, like I said, one, one pride that I have right now, one pride that I have right now is knowing that today, that when I sit down, when I'm done, and when I put down the microphone and I'm done with everything I've done, one thing I can say is, is I'm proud that I got out here and I put, I went as hard as possible I worked as hard as possible to get what I wanted. And that's one part that I have right now, you know, um, that I'm happy about it. You know, I'm, you know, I don't, I guess that's one thing that kind of makes me, kind of makes me happy. It's like I said, knowing that I got out here today and I fought as hard as I can and held my voice. Even now when I'm talking to you right now, my voice is starting to hurt. Um, 
My voice is starting to hurt. I'm starting to. My voice is starting to hurt. I'm starting to actually get a little bit upset. Not upset, but like a little bit raspy talking. I'm starting to sound like one of those one of those ladies who does like the sex phone calls. Like, hello, and this is why you need to have the sex with the chat room. Something, something, something. Peach apple pies. Like that. That is so. That is so far from what they talk like. And. I apologize to anybody who's listening to this podcast who might be a phone sex operator. I apologize about that, but, you know, I, um, like I said, man, I'm out of here, man, just putting in that hard work, man, and we're going to see how it turns out. We're going to see if it turns out into something. Hopefully the, hopefully the fates favor me, you know, hopefully the world, um, 13 million listeners, man, 13 million listeners. I provide content not for four or five listeners. I provide great content for thir- for thirteen million listeners, and you know this ain't a mental breakdown. You know I'm not having a mental breakdown on the podcast. Of of course I'm happy, and of course I enjoy doing what I do. But at the same time, man, I I I can't keep getting on this podcast every single day. And be short of what my goal is. You know, I, I just, I can't do that. There's people who did that for 10 years. There are people who who struggled for 10 years trying to become the greatest actor, trying to become the greatest singer. They're not like me. You know, they're not bred like me. They're not, a, they're not, they're not, I can't just keep getting on this podcast and talking to you and talking to you about me being the best at what I do and not having anybody support me, anybody listen to me, it is, it hurts. You know, it hurts, man. And this, you know, it's 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 part of the growing pains. You know, it's part of the growing pains. You have to, you have to go through certain struggles, I guess, to make you a better person. It gives you a better character. Right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. As I record this podcast right now. I feel more confident in my strength than I ever did before because I feel like I'm I feel like a warrior. You know, like I've always equated I've always equated the struggle to me getting like myself out there and me having me me getting out there as a podcast, me getting out there as a writer, me getting out there as a stand up comedian. I've always equated the struggle to that of being a warrior. Being a warrior, being somebody out there with his bayonet and his shield and his helmet and his sword and meeting my opponents in the battlefield. I've always equated myself to that aspect. I've always equated this to that. Because in 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 essence, you really are at war. I'm just going to be real with you. You are at war. I ain't going to lie to you about that. It is at war. I ain't going to lie to you. But at the same time, you know, it's, um, I guess it's some bribe, man, to say, it's some pride to saying that you survived and that you made it this far. So I guess that's something to take in consideration as well. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But with that being said, my name is JT. I'm going to go ahead and cut this podcast off because I'm running out of minutes. I'm going to record a third one. I'm going to go as hard as I can, just like I did in the last one. Take a break, Take a moment to get some... Um, Get some water in my throat because your boy really is tired right now. Your boy's throat is thirsty right now. Get some water in my throat and I'll be right back. Um, Tune into the next episode. It's coming out right now. Thank you.